tale that we will see unfold was set into motion long, long ago. Our hero has embarked on a quest, but will he make it to the very end? Do not fear, hero, for I shall guide you every step of the way. Become brain dead. 
See what I mean when I'm talking about easy to exploit emotions? Hmm. Um. Oh. I don't think it's the speech that has exploded the brain of our hero. But perhaps this cardboard cutout. Yes, yes, of course. Its eyes are very captivating. You, you can look into him and he can look into you. Those eyes, the mouth, are just empty black holes. There is infinite darkness within them. It calls to me like the abyss of the galaxy. Soon after the last star dies, it will be just like him, empty and devoid. A husk of his former self. Oh, oh, Hero, you're back. I was beginning to worry, Hero. Let's continue forth, Hero. There is no time to waste. Behind every door, there lay endless possibilities. I know so far, well, We've seen a whole lot of jack shit, but I'm sure things will take a turn for the exciting hero. Trust me. Charming, it's almost like I've been spat on. What even is this thing again? Uh, a snow cone? It's an interesting human delicacy. I know I can be very critical of humanity, but if there's one subject I'll give them credit for, it's their creativity. Humans have never ceased to impress me with the devices they come up with. Now, that doesn't mean everything that they come up with is adequate. Actually, plenty of it is pretty terrible. Like, the snow cone itself is pretty lackluster. It serves no function other than to harm the organism consuming it. It's an inferior version of other more nutritious sustenances. But still, I can appreciate it. Because at the end of the day, whether something is poor quality or not, someone still had to take the time to make and improve upon it. Hero, look at that painting. This is a painting. Some people may bestow it as bad, and some in the opposite opinion. Yet, the artists still had the drive, the passion, and took time out of their day to fully complete it. That's something that most other humans will never achieve. Our hero seems a little paranoid. Perhaps the empty halls are starting to take a toll on his mental health. Stay strong, hero. You can't start going crazy already when we're only like 20 rooms in. Yeah, I'm noticing it too, hero. Rooms are indeed repeating. Now, I don't want to frighten you. But, perhaps you're going in circles? Mm. Wait, hero, on the desk beside you! Our hero deduces that this note is definitely not the only one in this mansion. It wouldn't make sense if this person who came before him wrote only one note, he thinks to himself. Though this being a resting room, our hero combs the area for perhaps more traces of this person. Alas, the room is squeaky clean. 
our hero ponders to himself on who that person was, but he already knew the reason why they were there. For years, the mansion lay upon the hill, and a legend formed around the place. Anyone who ever went in, never came out. It seems those legends are well founded, as there is no turning back. Our hero concludes that the person who came, that the person who came here was probably a thrill seeker or an adventurer like him who wanted to see if the legends of the map were true. For our hero, like his father was a historian and adventurer. Some sort of lift. Will it be his salvation? Or will it plunge our protagonist deeper underground? Our hero touches the odd cross and he is blinded. He is unsure of what has happened. Regardless, he must press on. Unfortunately, the elevator only descends, and our hero is sent into the unknown depths below. Calm down, hero. Jeez. God, it's only an elevator. Let's move on. Only 950 rooms left to go.